What up guys, I'm All Caps Eric, and I'm about to start my first Let's Play ever. I'm so excited, I've been waiting for so long to do this, and it's going to be so much fun. I finally have everything I need, I got my Elgato Capture Card, got my Blue Yeti Mic, and this is just going to be a blast, I cannot wait to start this up. We got the Jack and Daxter HD Collection on the PS3, my favorite game series of all time. This is just going to be so much fun, so let's just jump right into it. Let's go! And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. This is my first Let's Play ever. Oh, I'm so pumped. I'm so pumped. I, I finally have everything I need. I got my capture card, my mic. Oh, man. I just, I've been waiting so long to do this, and uh, it's going to be a blast. So anyway, so here we are. We got Jack and Daxter, the HD collection on the PS3. We got Jack and Daxter, Jack 2, and Jack 3. I'm going to Let's Play all three of these games, and it's going to be a good time, ladies and gentlemen. But these are my childhood games right here. These these are the games I played most on the PS2, and uh, I this 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 is my childhood. I loved these games so much, and uh, I this it's just it was just great. And I'm so glad I get to play on the PS3 with like great quality and graphics, and it's it's really awesome. So um, anyway, we are gonna start this. Um, Oh, by the way, like, look at, I like these, like, these backgrounds that they give at the, the menu screen. Like, they look really good. You know, like, the, like especially, like, the desert there in Jack 3. And that looks awesome. Like, I, I just, like, I hope if they make a Jack 4, like, on the PS4 or something, like, because I know they're thinking about it, like, and they're, like, bringing up ideas and stuff. Like, I just, I want them to make it good, because, you know, The Last Frontier was just terrible. I don't even want to talk about that. That was, that's, oh, that's, anyway, um, like I, I just hope they'll make that good. But anyway, we are gonna hop right into this. This is Jack and Daxter: The Precursor Legacy. Let's go. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Ego, one of the wisest men on the planet. <sighs> So it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old green stuff told us not to come here. Continue your search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Huh? Oh, stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. 
The sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! Do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was. Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, the two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go, Misty Island. That's right. And then. And Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you gonna keep yapping, or are you gonna help me out of this mess? I'm gonna keep yapping because, in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Carl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there before I turn you both into ferns. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is Geyser Rock. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Thank you, Kira. That was Kira. She talks to you a lot. Uh, mostly just pretty much on this uh, level. This is Geyser Rock. This is pretty much the tutorial uh, portion, portion of the game. Um, and pretty much shows you everything you need to do. I haven't played this in a while. I'm just getting used to the controls real quick. But anyway, yeah, so we're going to hop right through this. By the way, guys, I am 100%ing this game. I'm going to get a platinum trophy, and it's going to be sick. So, yeah, so I'm breaking these boxes. That's a green eco. That's health right there. Uh, you pretty much get those, like, in, in any, or most, most boxes. Um, and these are precursor orbs right here. Kira will gladly tell you more about them. Take it away, babe. Less. Oh, there. These floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Yeah, so um, these are precursor orbs. They're pretty much used as the currency for the game. So you can like um, give like say like nine of them to like a villager or something, and like he'll give you a power cell. And power cells are the like the main like thing you gotta get in this game. Like they are the most important things. That's that's where you're going through the levels to get these things, and it's right there. And she'll talk about them again. 
This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-Grab Zoomer. Yeah, so right now we have to collect 20 of those power cells to uh, get the zoomer going, go over the fire canyon, and we will do that. Um, and since I'm 100% in this game, I gotta get all the precursor orbs and a power cell, so let's get this first one. One out of. I don't wanna say how many, but um, there's a lot, and it's a lot of fun to get, and we're gonna do it. <laughs> you, remember, uh, you remember memory cards, guys? <laughs> those were the days. Uh, yes, I would like to save my memory card. Sure thing. Whatever you say. All right. So these boxes right here are scout flies. Uh, you basically you can't punch them, you can't kick them. Things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it. Like that. Yeah, that's the same. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. Uh, yeah, so these boxes have scout flies in them. You collect all seven of them in an area, and you'll get a power cell. Now, they'll never, like, be, like, scattered in, like, one place like this. They're gonna be, like, scattered around the whole area. Uh, this is just, you know, the tutorial is showing you, like, how to do it all. So they're just gonna be all, all in one place right here. And I'll show you get a power cell in one second here. Let me get that. And uh, I will bounce on this one. And then I'll bounce on this one. And then here's the last one, and then, bam, there's a power cell. What'd I tell you? And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember I always used to do that right there when the, when the thing was going off in the background there. That looked cool. A power cell. I'll bet if you collect all seven in each area, you can find even more power cells. That's Blue Eco, which contains the energy of motion. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. Yeah, so that's Blue Eco right there. It'll pretty much make you faster, and you can, like, when you're around, like, an orb or a green eco or something, it'll just, like, um, just come to you and you don't have to go grab it, but you gotta be close enough. But there's a little secret down here, some orbs. And I gotta get all them orbs. So there you go, there's Blue Eco. See how, it, like, they just all kind of come to you and they just break boxes just all around you and you run faster. It's, it's a good time. It's a good time. And uh, the, if they're like balls of blue eco, they're always, they'll all, uh, blue, blue, blue. I can't talk. With the uh, if they're balls of blue eco, they'll, they'll always respond. So if you like miss something, you gotta go back for it. You can always just get it. So there's more up here. Let me just grab that. And uh, yeah, so what he's pretty much talking about right there is like, if you get like more uh, balls, like, in a row, like your meter down there will go up higher, and uh, yeah, and like if you saw back there, I got a big uh, ball of green eco, and like one right there too, so that one of those like refills like one big portion of that heart, heart right there, and like you gotta get 50 little ones to do the same thing, so here's a door. This is a precursor door. It can only be opened by approaching the door while channeling blue eco through your body. So yeah, this is one of those doors where you need Blue Eco to like open it and you gotta have it and like come around it and not open it. But how are we gonna do that? Oh wait, there's a vent over here. That's a Blue Eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters, this vent will give you a full charge of Blue Eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Yeah, so when you get one of these vents like that, your meter will go full like um, up like that and like you just stay in there, it'll just you know, stay. But as soon as you go out, it'll start going down. But you got a, like a really good time amount of time to use it. And uh, yeah, see how it opened up the door. And there's another power sale. Three out of the four, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's only fat. four. <coughs> On the mount. I can't talk. Uh, yep, yeah, more orbs and such. Oh, got first trophy right there. Like I said, we're getting all the trophies. This bitch. Uh, yeah, got the orbs up there. Shut up, Seamus. I know what to do. <laughs> Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up 50 small green ecos or one big green one. Uh, Seamus, I already told him that. God. <laughs> well, you can also um, do that. You can like crouch top. I don't know how to word that. Uh, uppercut. Wow, I'm stupid. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, you can roll. You can dodge rolling is definitely um, a like a very useful thing in this game. You can just, but it's also risky like that. <laughs> but it helps you, yeah, go faster places. And there is the fourth, get it, fourth power cell on Geyser Rock, and we've gotten everything. Right? Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <gasps> Did I miss an orb? I missed an orb. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Hold up. I missed an orb. How did I miss an orb? Where are you? I will find you. Oh my god, it's right there. <sighs> there you go, guys. Guys are rock. 50 out of 50. Alright, now I am back at the end. And that, I'm gonna power that up. So there's like platforms and shit you can like power up with the Luico 2. Bounce off that, and we are done with Geyser Rock. That is our first area completed. Really easy, but we get it. Alright, now you can hop on those things to use the portal. Uh, Green Sages Hut, Green Sages Hut, Green Sages Hut. So many choices. How about. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Green Sages Hut. Why not? Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. Ah, uh, then no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, get out of here! All right, say most. Jeez, he's on his period. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's going to be it for this episode, guys. And in the next episode, we are going to explore Sandover Village and uh everything in between and we're gonna talk to her all right guys so i will see you in the next episode peace